got there today? Got me a uh, country gentleman with some Escudo in it. Lit up, fired off, going pretty good. I'm enjoying the Escudo. Thank you very much. Uh, the Major Pipe is the one who sent this to me. Thank you very much, Major. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I am liking that Escudo. Out of, and even out of a uh, corn cob. I need to try it out of like my his pipe and see if I like it even better or worse. I don't know. I'm finding a lot of times that when I smoke it out of a corn cob, then smoke it out of a briar, that I'm enjoying it a little bit more out of a briar. Now, that may not be the case with everything, but I'm going to come at you today with another installment of the Childhood Stories. On my last one where the tailgate come open and I go rolling down the water and my brothers are mad at me, had a couple of people comment about, you know, that brotherly love. And I said, well, I got a lot of brotherly love stories, so... I'll give you a couple of them here. Uh, this one involves, uh, I would say sporting events, but backyard, you know, sporting events. At the, you know, nothing organized or anything. Organized chaos, maybe. Now, one thing to note, when we played any type of sporting event, it's a full contact sport. I don't care whether it's football, baseball, basketball, checkers, hopscotch, it was full contact. And, uh... So I'll come at you with a couple of quick stories. One time we were playing baseball, and it was just the three of us. My two Now, I've got two older brothers, then there's me. I've got a younger brother and two younger sisters. My two older brothers are four years older and then five years older than me. And then my younger brother, he is like... He's probably six. I don't know how old they are. He's probably six or seven years younger. So he really wasn't, you know, when we're, you know, 10 years old and they're, you know, 14 and 15, he's not playing sports with us. But one time we were, there were just the three of us out in the backyard playing uh, baseball. And of course we would use ghost runners, you know, you hit the ball, run to first, and then you place a ghost runner there and et cetera, et cetera. That's how we always did it. And uh, one of my brothers was pitching. One of my brothers was batting, I don't remember which, but, and I was catching. And <clears throat> I don't know whether they did this intentionally or not, or whether I just didn't catch the ball. I caught the ball, but not in the mitt. <clears throat> and it's the brotherly love that comes afterwards. So they pitch the ball, or one of my brothers pitches, like, as fast as he can. I'm sure it's not, you know, a million miles an hour, but as fast as he can for a 15 or 16 year old. My brother at bat doesn't even try to hit it. I got my mitt up, and I miss in my mitt. But I catch the ball right there in my eye socket. And it, I mean, it's just like a perfect fit. Just right there. And I remember standing up and everything getting kind of a hazy gray look. And then it kind of went black, and I just went over on my back. And then the next thing I remember... I'm laying on my back, open my eyes, I'm looking straight up at the sky. Now, I don't know how long I'd been out. I'm sure it hadn't been very long. Probably a few seconds, 10, 20, 30 seconds. I don't know. I'm sure it couldn't have been too long. But the thing that, where the funny part for them, I guess, story comes in, I sit up, I'm on my butt on the ground. I sit up and look around. Guess what? Nowhere to be found. They split. They are gone. Did they run in the house to tell one of my parents, hey, we hit him in the head with a baseball and he's out cold? Nope. Because I remember kind of getting up, trying to shake it off. Sorry, I think we got somebody trying to drag race right down the uh, neighborhood street here in front of the park. So I try to shake it off. And I walk in the house. They're not even in the house. I don't have no clue to this day. I don't know where they went, but they split. They were gone. And, you know, I don't, you know, I'm sure I got, I really don't remember much after that. I don't remember whether I had, a, I'm sure I probably had a black eye. I don't remember. I don't remember, you know, telling my parents what happened. I don't remember anybody, you know, getting in trouble or anything. I just remember sitting up, looking around. They were gone. Me getting up, walking in, and they were gone. 
Seems like I do remember my mom at the kitchen sink doing something, but. So then there was another. So there's one brotherly love story. There's another brotherly love story. Hey, Pipe Pappy. I think my tobacco's getting wet. That's an inside joke. Um, we were playing football. Backyard, again, backyard football. We had gone to see some of uh, our relatives, would have been my mom's sister, sort of been my aunts and aunt and uncle, and then a bunch of our cousins. So again, it was the three of us older boys. I don't know how old I was again. Seven, eight, nine, ten, probably. I was probably 10 or 11, I bet. I wasn't that young. Probably 10, 11, 12. And I had... Most of the boy cousins were the age of my older brothers. I had one girl cousin who was the same age as me, and she wasn't going to play sports with us, you know, crazy guys out there. So anyway, we were playing football. And again, it's a full con. I can't tell you how many times we played football, even with neighborhood kids. And I've got, and it was always one of my brothers. They were lined up on the opposite side of the line. You know, you hear... Hut, 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 and the next thing I know, I'm looking up in the air with a bloody nose or something, blood all over my face. When I say full contact, it was like, you know, you're at the line, the ball comes off the ground, and it's shoulders, elbows, fist, and, and going to it. And so, uh, <clears throat> one time, we were up there with my cousins and a bunch of neighborhood, you know, their friends playing football in the backyard. Hut, 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 here comes the ball. We go full force into each other, going crazy. And again, everybody gets knocked around. I'm on my back, looking up at the sky again. Seems like that happened to me a lot. Maybe I'm not such a great football player. I don't think you're supposed to play football on your back looking up, are you? <laughs> but anyway, they were, everybody, I was always the young one, and they liked to pick on me. And so... All of a sudden, I see the football coming down. It lands over about arm's length out. So everybody's scrambling for the ball. I reach out, put my hand on top of the ball. And before I even have a chance to try to bring it in, one of my brothers like belly flops right on top of it. So you got the ball, you got my hand, and here he comes, bam. And I'm... I, you know, screaming and crying, and you broke my hand. No, I didn't. Let's see if you can move your fingers. Because if you can move your fingers, it's not broke. So I'm kind of holding my hand, and yeah, you can kind of see a little bit of movement. Oh, I saw movement. It's not broken. It's not broken. So what happens? You go sit off to the side. You can't play anymore. They keep playing football. Well, we go in that night. Mom and Dad look at it, put an ice. And this is like a Saturday evening. And we had traveled. It was about an eight-hour drive to see them. We'd gone taking a long weekend to see them. So they ice it up. <clears throat> the next morning, Sunday morning, they look at it. It's still bad. or no, I say bad. It's swollen up. Put ice on it. Um, we drive back home, get home Sunday night, and then go see the doctor uh, Monday morning. Broken hand. He broke my hand. So... And again, it's like, I saw movement. I know it's not broken. You go over there and sit down. You can't play with us anymore, you cry baby. <laughs> and so, yeah, we had a lot of that. We used to like to sneak out of the house at night and run around at 2 or 3 in the morning, you know, doing mischief and stuff like that. And we would take a, uh, we'd take a BB gun out with us. I'll tell you some BB gun stories later. That'll get way too long. I don't know whatever got into my parents' head why they thought they should buy us all a BB gun that we were supposed to share. I'm sure when they did that, they regretted it. Uh, but I'll tell you some stories about being shot. Remember the Christmas story? You'll put your eye out. You'll get shot in the eye. Well, I got shot directly in the eyeball one time. So anyway, we would go out running around at night. And so it's pitch black. We're running around causing all kinds of mischief, doing things we should not be doing. And there had been a tree that had been cut down. There was, I don't know, a two or three inch tree stump left over. It was cut pretty close to the ground. So I'm running around chasing them. And I stumbled on that tree stump. Tried to catch myself. Hit my thumb on the ground. Of course, I broke my thumb there. And 
do they stop? No, we got to keep going until we can sneak back in the house, you know, a couple hours later. So anyway, if you got some brotherly love stories, somebody'd have to comment that they were an only child growing up and they kind of wish they had had, you know, brothers and sisters. You know, growing up with them, a lot of times I wished I was an only child. But you know, now you look back on it, it's you know, we had fun, you know, I wouldn't trade it for anything and we're the best of friends now, so we all get along and I mean, we had some we had some serious throwdown, you know, fights. I mean, involved with, you know, shovels being, you know, sent through the air at each other and but uh anyway, just a couple more childhood stories for you. Uh I'll come back with some more maybe in a little while and uh, I got to tell you some of the BB gun stories, some, you know, I bought me a motorcycle. I got to tell you some motorcycle, at least one motorcycle story. And so, uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, if you like any of my stories, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, or leave me a comment down below. Uh, I appreciate all the interaction we get. If you got some, again, some childhood stories, you know, tell us some childhood stories, brotherly love stories, you know, family, you know, whatever. Uh, family history even. So thanks guys. I appreciate it. We'll catch y'all next time.